Hello there, and welcome back to the channel. I'm Nath Kyle, better known as Elekthan on YouTube. And I'm Danny, best known as DJ Casey Productions on YouTube, or DJ Glitch on Twitch. Well, it's nice to have you back. We have uh, back. got we've got boxes today, guys. Oh, boxes. So those of you who know me at all know that I am a colossal man-child who is irresponsible with all of his financial decisions. And as you can see in the background, being my room, I too am irresponsible with money and a man-child. Do you mind? Go away. We are we are downstairs in in the dungeon. Um, the, I, to be fair, the dungeon's next door. Yeah. John's actually got like a little grate above his room. I'm the reception that, area. You're the reception <laughs> area, he's the dungeon. But we are down on the ground floor, which means there are some traffic noises today, but uh, hopefully it won't be too much of a factor. Yeah, that'd be all right. But yeah, so as we are... And I, I do make good financial decisions, just as a disclaimer. He has the money to spend. I have... A, he makes it sound like I'm loaded. I'm not. Well, I'm not saying that. I'm My working saying... care. We are horrendously underpaid. But yeah. anyway... But you have the, the income to spare. <laughs> it's nice to be able to, you know, to treat yourself sometimes. Yeah. But also, you know, I'm not going to do it forever. But while I'm, you know, while I'm able to, I'm going to. So... I collect pop vinyls, and uh, one thing that I've done the channel before that I really enjoy doing is mystery unboxes. As you guys will have seen, um, I recently uploaded a video where I bought a couple of 9.99 HMV boxes, where um, it was 9.99 to buy, and the value inside was estimated to be around 25 pounds. And it was it was pretty good actually. Got some nice items, you know. Got some nice 3D posters and some stuff. Um, so it kind of made me want to do another pop unboxing video, and. Well, we've got um, a lot in common, you and I. You could say that, yeah. Not leastly being our date of birth. We are both... I'd, I'd say it's close. I'd say it's close too, because we're both born 12th of August. Yeah, pretty close. <laughs> like, you know, it's, it's a matter of hours rather than days kind of thing. Well, years. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, well, yes, years, but, you know, in terms as of... As far as the, the date. Year, yeah. Yes. As far as the date goes, yeah. We are. We, we share a birthday. And um, I ordered a mystery box to do as uh, to do an unboxing video with, which is what we're doing. There was a shipping error, and um, it meant that basically they resent the box. And in the time that they resent the box, the original arrived. Contacted the company, and they were like, "Nah, just just feel free to you know hang on to it. It's no odds to us." Could be a really good sign, or it could just mean that this is a bunch of really <laughs> common pops. Um, but I thought, as we share a birthday, and uh, it might be quite nice to part of your birthday present, mate. You get to keep Thanks. whatever you open today, and I get to keep whatever I open today. Um, I should say I've got. A He's box. got a big box as well. Got a big box as well. We've both got uh, boxes of six. I've just ruined all the technical equipment. That's My fine. apologies. It was just a cable in the way. I've just moved it. It's fine. Like a snake's wedding down there, it really is. <laughs> but yeah, so we've got a little, yeah. a little teaser, a little teaser box. This is what we call a grail or fail box, where basically you spend ten pounds on a box. It could be something low value, um, or rarely it could be something high value. It's sealed. We know what uh, we know, kind of what we're getting. It's probably going to be something superhero themed or something gaming themed. With this is good. I'm throwing things everywhere. I'm making <laughs> you caught them as well. That was impressive. Spider Man like reflexes there. <laughs> Like, do you remember that scene in Spider-Man 1 where he kind of catches all of the stuff on the lunch tray? He did that. Like, he genuinely did that. It was nice. That's, like, that's mad to think we about. Got, yeah, oh, but, yeah. yeah. It, was, it, was a, like, it must have taken a few takes, but... <laughs> no, I digress. I digress. So, what we're going to do today is I'm going to un unbox, firstly, the Grail of Fail box, and then we're going to move on to these. Now, the way we're going to do this is say these boxes are sealed... We've got no idea what's inside. Mm -hmm. The only thing that we know is that um, these boxes retail at £43.99 each. And within them are guaranteed six pops. You're also guaranteed a minimum of one pop with an exclusive sticker. So it could be a chase or an exclusive, a convention special. Um, so that's where the value in the box is going to be. Now, we're going to open them from the bottom so we can't see what they are. And some of them might be in soft protectors. It's a good sign... To be fair, it's probably a good sign if there's only one in a soft protector rather than two yeah. because the value of the box is spread kind of that way. Yeah. But we'll get into that in a minute. But for now, let's... Uh, start with the box. Let's start with the little one. Let's start with one with potato We've got not just a kunife, but we've got a pn kunife. It's a, uh, it's a pen kunife. knife. Literally, it's a pen that's a knife. Oh, okay, so that's not what a pen knife is. I know that's not what a pen knife is. <laughs> it, it, it was a wordplay. It was a wordplay. So I'm going to very carefully and gently slice into this so that I don't lose any fingers. Okay, when it uses a knife, make sure to cut away from yourself, especially with a knife as sharp as that. It is a... And that's why I'm here, because you always need to make sure you've got adult supervision. Wow. wow. <laughs> I'm older than you. 
By yeah. a considerable I amount. I didn't say you have to be a child. Uh, I just said you needed adult supervision, and I too am an adult. This is Hard true. to believe, Ooh. but it's true. Right, I tell you what, I've, se I've kind of seen what it is. So I'm going to open this app towards you guys. So, ready? Let's see what we got. That looks like a Teen Titans Go Pop. I'm just going to make a mess in his room so I don't have to tidy it up later on. <laughs> we have got Terra from Teen Titans Go. And uh, there's a sticker as well. It is nice. It's, this is a Toys R Us exclusive pop, which is which is really cool. That is going to have a good bit of value. I'll have it. Closer. Tell you what, while you hold that closer, I'm Just going so you can to see that nice and clean. I'm going to see what the value on this one is because I paid 9.99 for this box. So you hold that one for I mean, a second. Yeah, so yeah. So that seems like it's going to have more than 9.99 value, and if it doesn't, then that's a shame. Well, I'm using the official Funko app on my phone, so this is what we'll do. So with this one, we'll look at the value now, but then when we open our six boxes, we'll open all the pops first. And then Danny's going to use some editing magic and we'll kind of do a review at the end to see who got the most bang for their bucks. I mean, you, because you spent zero pounds and zero pence on these. Well, so you're, yeah, exactly. you're definitely going to be the winner anyway, but, you know, per box. Well, yeah. We're going to see how close... I'm not expecting to make a profit on these. I'm mm. expecting we'll make a loss of at least ten pounds, but... It's well, fun. I'm not paying you £10 for this. I didn't pay for it. <laughs> you know what I mean, you fool. <laughs> so trending value of £15, which means we made a profit of £5. That's pretty good. That's I'm pretty that's happy that's with that. Going. It's a stickered one. I like the Teen Titans characters as well. Grew up watching the... I don't want to call it an anime, because it, it, <laughs> it kind of tap-danced that line between cartoon and anime. It was like a bridging kind of thing. Mm. But very good series. Very happy with it. An Anatune. Indeed. <laughs> Anatune. Or Kame. Right, here we Kameha. go. Kamehameha. Gokusan. No one else is going to get that. What we'll do is we're both going to open them, and we're just going to have a little feel on top. Okay, cool. Yep, so mine is mine is as I expected. Mm -hmm. Right. That's a good sound. We've got... In, in my box, I've got two in soft protectors. I have one. That's a really good sign. Mm. So it's I'm probably excited. that I'm going to have two kind of... Two, the two in protectors will both be sticker, but I reckon mine will be maybe lower value than yours. Yeah. I mean, so we'll wait and see. We'll, we'll wait and see. So what we'll do, we'll save the... I've got two that are, um, that are in pop protectors. So what we'll do is I'll do... Yeah. I'll do the first... We'll just take it in turns. We'll do one at a time. And I'll do one of mine in the middle and one of mine at the end. Because yeah. one of my boxes is a slightly different colour. You can see that yeah. one. That's quite clear on the camera. So yeah. That's um, It's slightly different. So I'm very curious about that one. So we might save that one I think that might be for the, the very end. Last, yeah. So um, I will, I'll let you go first, good sir. You get to pick out your first pop. I'm going for this one because the box is slightly damaged. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. That's very me. Oh, that's stickered <laughs> as well. It's out of a pop that's, protector. This is this is very me. It's not from a thing that I recognise, but as far as my aesthetic goes, that is amazing. It's from Oh, it's Fantastic Beasts, the Grimes of the Yeah, Crimes it's, it's the the Mat Matagot? Matgot? Oh, isn't Grindelwald the character that Johnny Depp played? Yes. It's very me then. It's very you. It's very, very me. To like You do a very scary. good you do a very good uh, Captain Jack Sparrow, don't you? You'd like to think. Why is a rum gone? So yeah, the man of many, many voices is uh, is our Danny, and he does a very, very good Johnny Depp, Captain Jack Sparrow. That's nice. That's, that's a, a good great one. character. That, no, I'm very happy with that. To be fair. All right. Well, I was in the dark as well. I was in I, the dark, and I live in the dark. So. You do. All right, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Yeah, go I've got it. my first one, which is. What we got. <laughs> You couldn't write it. You couldn't write it. We've both got the exact same pop. I was looking at that thinking I really wish I'd had that in my box. So that's really good. I hope we're not going to get all... Well, we're not going to get all the same because there was clearly a, a difference yeah, a in the boxes. But there. You that, know what? I'll that, take that. We yeah, get one each. That's, that's nice. Hilarious. That's, that's great. Considering you literally like... You're like, yeah, no, I've got a duplicate box, so, you know. Yeah, you know what? I'm happy with that. There were quite a few of them in the pictures that they advertised for them, so... Yeah. Right, it's quite funny, what you yeah. got next? I'm going to go for this one. I have Ooh. Mr. Link in suit. Oh, this is from Missing Link. Okay. Oh, is that the Aardman film? Yes, I believe so, yeah. That's the Wallace and Gromit guys, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. So that's quite nice. I've not seen the film. It's not something I've seen, but it's, it's nice. I like that. That looks like it might be it's, a it's, fun one. Yeah, as I say, he's got a nice suit there. I think you see the... Uh... That's kind of your style, because it's kind of a bit weird and left of centre. I mean, and it's... Ardman as well. Yeah, like, I, I appreciate animation. I studied um, like game design at university, so 
you know, there's there's a lot of like keyframing things, and I, I can I can get mm. behind that. And so to be fair, between the two there, you got one without a suit and one with a suit. We got suit, one with a so, suit. Yeah. Hang on, uh, that way. You can kind of see it's a bit. It's nice because I've got um yeah. I've got Wallace from Wallace and Gromit upstairs, so I've also yeah. got an Ardman one, which Ooh, is quite cool. Grummy. It's cheese grommet, lad. Jeez, a bit of gorgonzola there. Right, I'm going to do this one so I don't see what it is. We have got... What's this? Oh, cool, nice. Uh, so we've got Ooh. Children of the Forest from Game of Thrones, which uh, I watched through most of Game of Thrones. I kind of stopped at season six because that was when everybody told me it became a dumpster fire. And I never watched it because people said, don't bother. But this <laughs> is a cool one. This looks really nice. The Children of the Forest I vaguely remember, I think. I might have to look this up, but um, it's very kind of... It looks kind of Elder Scrolls-y, you know? It's got that kind yeah. of... That Lord of the Rings, Elder Scrolls kind of feel, which fits, you know, very, like, a lot of my interests. Swamp Zombie type. Swamp Zombie. Hmm. Plant, that's, that's a good name for a band. Like. It's a plant and a zombie, rather than plants versus zombies kind of thing. I'm happy with that. Yeah. yeah right. right. On to your next one, mate. Let's go for this one. Knows more. <laughs> <laughs> Appropriate it's for you. From, uh, Ralph breaks the internet. It's pretty much the Google equivalent. Um, and it's non copyright fair, Google. That is, it really is. That is hilarious, though. That's that's quite. Funny. I mean, I'm I'm a man who likes his knowledge. A lot of random knowledge that most people will probably find absolutely useless. But uh, yeah, I quite like that. <laughs> right. Well, that's really good. I like that one. Right, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna go for the the black one first. I think. Yeah, yeah. I just I feel I feel good about it. I want to try it. I want to see what it is. So, I'm just gonna move around, not look in the box. I don't want spoilers. So yeah, I can kind so, of see my next one. So I'm... I'm not I'm not gonna look. So, this is one in a soft protector. Yeah, yeah. It should mean it's stickered in, in value. Around, I can't see it. <laughs> oh, of course he gets him. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> oh wow, this is okay. Batman 80 years special edition. And he's got like a rusty kind of, oh, statue kind of feel. That's yeah, so cool. That way better. What's the name of that kind of effect where you've got like the, it almost looks like metal mold, but it's not. Um, well, it's the Statue of Liberty, isn't it? Because the Statue of Liberty was bronze. and Bronze, sort of yes, yeah, so it's green, bronze so. Batman. Yeah. And it comes in like a really nice, it's a black box with say, gold yeah, lettering. And, and it's shiny gold lettering as oh, well. Oh, shiny so. gold lettering. This is a good hit. I feel this... Should have saved that one for last. <laughs> Should have saved that one for last. I've got no idea what's in the other one, though, still. Yeah. So I that mean, could where, be a big yeah. hit. That's fantastic. I don't I'm... know, though. That is, that's quite a big hit. <laughs> that's a huge one. Huge. So happy with that. All right. Right, next one. Next one. Go with this one. <clears throat> we have... Oh, it's a Warhammer. Okay. Uh, Blood okay. Angels Assault Marine. Yeah. You know, I quite like that. I've, I've never really got into Warhammer, um, but I have watched a few people play games. Again, being in a very nerdy course at university. I watched some people playing it, and you know that's quite. That's again, it's still very me. It is very um, much you. It's a gaming kind of one. Yeah, you know, it's like as much as I'm not the biggest Warhammer fan, it's still it's still pretty good. Look, no complaints so far. It's all very me. Whether I've seen it or interacting with it, it's still just me. So yeah, I love that. I can't complain. Right, going for this one next. We've got another Game of Thrones one. <laughs> Lord Varys. Okay, I can get behind this. I'll let you do the do the yeah. honors there. He was a very interesting character because um, he was one of the like the clerics, wasn't he? he was yeah. the master of knowledge and information, kind of always selling secrets to different sides. Enjoyed various. Who character. would win? <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Now you know what. I'm glad that I've got a theme going on. I've kind of got yeah, yeah. I'm coping with Game of Thrones. Game and of I, Thrones. And and I Harry don't Potter. have a theme, which is also <laughs> surprisingly very me. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Um, Let's just move this one out of the way as well, just yeah. so we've got the. Yeah, I'm, I'm a bit of a mismatch when it comes to uh, things I like. It's just anything and everything. Right, two pops each left. Two pops each. So we'll go for this one next. We have. Oh yes. Oh no. <laughs> I, got, I got the fat <laughs> rabbit from Ralph Breaks the Internet. Oh, that was such a dark scene. Such a great scene, though. That... So maybe we should feed the cats. And no, the cat gets the cupcake. The bunny gets the pancakes. There's a traumatic scene with a little girl watching this this game of like bunny rabbit versus cat, and Ralph keeps feeding the bunny rabbit these Good cakes, luck. and eventually all you hear is the sound of an of a popping uh, a popping rabbit followed by a little girl screaming. I didn't even clock that that was in the same series as this oh, one. It's, oh it's well, on oh yeah, it's yeah. the oh man, that's really cool. Well, this is fun buns. So I say they're the other ones you can get. It's probably not good to sit too clear because fun buns are good but... here. Yeah, that, I'm, I'm actually really happy with that. I can't lie. That's um, really good. Push forward and move that before I see it. 
Right. <laughs> this is the last common we've got, so I'm just going to go straight in. <laughs> so we've got another Game of Thrones one. This is Gendry, or Gendry. Who, again, um, he had a bit of a character arc. He was a fun character. Um, really enjoyed his scenes, particularly the scenes with... Um, oh, is it Gwendolyn Yeo who played um, Lady... Oh, what's her name? The big tall one, the big tall blonde one. She was Captain Phasma in Star Wars. S is it Cersei? No, no, no. Oh. Cersei's the one who manipulates everybody. As I say, I, I only vaguely know the names. I've literally, I've never seen it. I'm sorry. I've, I've never seen Game of Thrones. Don't be. A, you didn't miss much. Well, it was okay. Know, it was okay. It was. Some people are really big fans. Until of the writers' the strike, it was. It was good. Yeah. But I mean, like, I'm not great at watching anything, so it's not because I don't like Game of Thrones. It's just I'm terrible at watching yeah. anything. It's a nice one. He's he's holding like a like a warhammer, which yeah, is cool. Yeah. So again, it fits kind of like the Skyrim aesthetic. So. Warhammer. Warhammer, forty k, <laughs> keeping it on theme. Yeah. Right. We last one together. This. Do you want to do it again? Yeah, yeah, as I say, it might as well as the last yeah. one. So we'll on that out of the way. three, one, two, three. Ooh. Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> right. So, so a, a good double there. We've got the female psycho and the Joker. He's got a nice shiny silver Joker. Chrome Joker. Um, but just to say something, uh, if you want to grab that again. Yeah, of course, of course. You could say I'm a bit of a fan of Borderlands. Um, I'm so pleased you got that. that oh, I'll keep the light. Oh, I've ruined the aesthetic. Oh, no, not um, the aesthetic. I say there's there's also these as well. This is... You could say I'm a bit of a fan. Like, I, I only have, what, seven pops, including this one. This was the most recent one I bought, which is Lilith, and this is Tiny Tina. Or just Tina now. She's not as small as she used to be. <coughs> so, um... It's not polite to say that about a lady. She was 13 in the second game, and she's now 20, so she's not as tiny. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, that's 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 okay, that's okay. That's we don't I, that's just don't meant. don't talk about the weight. That's a bad. That's a no no. She is an expert in pyromaniacs. She's just you know I'm not gonna insult her that way. So this one, so, yeah, female psycho. You're happy female with that one? I'm very happy. I mean, that is literally one of the three. That is that one there. That oh, is the so female cool. psycho. So I now have. <laughs> Two versions of a female psycho. I'm quite happy too because <laughs> to go with my my nice kind of my yeah. my nice Your bronze, bronze Batman, yeah. I've got silver chrome Joker, which I mean that's phenomenal. Whoever made this box up clearly wanted to keep it on theme, which is nice because you've got a lot of gaming. So Lilith's the other one oh, in this wow. set. So out of four that they have, I have two of them. So you've got yeah. a collection going on I've, there now, I've mate. actually got a bit of a little connection. Well, actually, I've. That's the second one I've got going, because I do have two Overwatch pops back there. I have Reaper and Junkrat. <laughs> well, what we'll do now, guys, is I'm going to go onto the Funko app, and I'm going to find the prices of all of these, and then we'll go through our respective boxes and do a tally. Uh, we'll maybe throw up like a graphic on the screen so you can see how much we each got, and we'll, we'll go from there. So we'll do a quick cut here now, and then by the magic of editing, we will be back like... I have put all of the pops through the official Funko Pop app, and I now have prices, so... What we'll do is I'm going to go through them. As I go through them, Daniel will hold them up to the camera so just give you a visual reminder as to what we're doing and we'll see who's, uh, whose box was of the best value. So starting with your fun bun. My fun bun. So fun bun from Wreck-It Ralph, Ralph Breaks the Internet comes to a total of £5. Damn. Which is right. kind of what we thought it would be. A lot of these boxes are like people getting rid of excess stock and stuff, but... The, the real kind of money comes in the ones that are in the in the soft protectors. So I'm not expecting super high value for these first no. few pops. So we'll go on to Mr. Link in Suit yeah. from the Missing Link uh, Ardman Productions movie. One second, that one. And he comes to a value of seven British pounds. Yeah, it's not bad. So we're going, not bad. That's all right. That Any, makes 12. Good number. Anything above five is a good hit as far as I'm concerned for these kind of boxes. We're never going to make our full value back unless you get like a, ch a chase or a f like a proper grail. Yeah. But you know, it's it's the part of the fun of it. Exactly. Right. Next up for you, we have got Nose More. Yeah. And uh, again, he beats the threshold. He comes in at six pounds, which not bad at all. I think that's what I paid for Lilith when I yeah. got her. To be fair, which that's was a nice surprise because even <laughs> whether they've lost their value or not most people are still selling them for like 15 quid at the shop so to yeah. get that for 6 quid I was quite happy that's not bad at all um, so we're doing the tally as we go and then at the end we'll put a tally on his side and we'll put a tally on my side yeah. so Matagot which is one we both have yep. so we'll put this on my tally now anyway Glow in the Dark from the Crimes of Grindelwald 
that comes in at seven pounds. Yeah. Surprises me. I thought it'd be a little bit more because yeah. it's glow in the dark and just the aesthetic. That. But yeah. you know what though? It's been a while since that movie came out, and there's been a lot of stuff around the, the recasting of Johnny Depp, which neither of us particularly happy about. But yeah. hey ho, um, we've got the Blood Angels Assault Marine from Warhammer 40k. And again, hits in at seven pounds, which is a bit more than I thought that would be. Yeah, fair. which is nice. I'm just gonna put marine because I can't be bothered to. Tell how much so was, yes, how much was that? seven. Seven. For seven. That one. As Len Goodman would say, seven. 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 And finally, your big hit was the female psycho from Borderlands Three. Yeah. Uh, not as valuable as I thought it would be. Yeah, nine. Fair. Nine pounds it comes in at. Fair. But you know what? As I've, to be honest. We, we're going to make a profit either way because I only paid for one of these boxes. The other one <laughs> yeah. was shipping error and they were kind. Paid for one box and we only got one duplicate. So <laughs> Exactly. So how much was your tally altogether? My tally altogether, we have 21, 30, 41 pounds. Wow, you know... So, what was it, 43 pound retail price you said? Yeah, you know what, that's, that's actually pretty good. Two pound good. loss. And to be fair, so most of that is shipping and handling as well. So you know yeah. what, I'll call that a break. I'll call that a win. I'll say yeah, we've yeah. broken even on that one. Right, so... Uh, my one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pass you the pops as we go. So we'll start off with the we'll start off with the lowest one. Now, uh, Gendry or Gendry, three pounds. Oh, that's a, that one hurts. Oh, ouch! Yeah, he wasn't everybody's favourite character, but that feels that feels like a, a bit insulting it, almost. Well, let me show you how much of an insult that is. Five pound, three pound. And one of them's got a war Five hammer. pound. <laughs> Three pound. That's yeah. bad. Uh, sticking with the game, I, th- I think after the seventh and eighth seasons of Game of Thrones, all the pops just tanked in value. So that is not completely unexpected, but it is a bit harsh. Next up, we've got the uh, the Children of the Forest, uh, and that comes in at five pounds. Again, I expected five for Game of Thrones pops. Yeah. You know, that's kind of about the standard. Uh, so we also had the uh, the Matagot, the uh, which we which I showed you earlier on, which Danny showed you as well, Bye. seven pounds. So that's my highest uh, value so far. Highest value so far. <laughs> Lord Varys or Varys or however you pronounce his name, the, the big bold guy who knows all the stuff from the things in the games of the Thrones, comes in at five pounds as well. So not five, not huge. Um, there is uh, there is a big hit here. Um, we had the the. Uh, the Silver Chrome Joker, and we've got the um, the Batman one, which we'll get to. But so Silver Chrome Joker is actually lower in value than I thought he would be. Okay. He is only seven pounds. Oh wow. Yeah. So that is there's a second yeah. one which is green, which is I think the more valuable of the two. Yeah. I'm not complaining because I love the aesthetic of so that. So that's from Arkham Asylum as well. Arkham Asylum was a hell of a game. Mm. It was a great game, a phenomenal game. I replayed it through uh, last lockdown, no, not last lockdown, the first lockdown. <sighs> What was that seven pounds for that one? Wasn't it? Seven pounds for that one. Oh, yeah, that's that's surprising. That's very surprising. It's okay because say, this should be the saving grace. I'll this is the saving grace. So I'm gonna get, just get up his little info profile here, and uh, he's called Batman Patina. Is the name of the effect yeah, on the yeah. metal Patina? Comes in at twenty pounds. That's more what that I was is, expecting. That is one of the biggest hits from this run. I think the highest value would have been like a fifty pound one. Yeah. But like the odds on getting that were I think like one in a hundred, one in two hundred boxes. Yeah. So there we go. That's Four. that's all the tallying done, guys. And uh, forty seven. So it's only six pound more value if it weren't for Batman. <laughs> Batman saves the day. <laughs> Batman saves the day. So I got the most value, but I think we both came out we both came out yeah, a winner here. Came, yeah. Definitely. This was super fun. This was great this. fun. I, I love this. I mean, you've got a lot of free stuff. So. I've got a lot of free stuff, and it's all, as we've said many times, it's very me, so... I'm um, glad. I, I think that yeah. you, you definitely did better than I did. I, <laughs> I, I, I tolerate Game of Thrones. I wouldn't say it's my favourite. Those will probably be on eBay at some point soon. Yeah, I mean, I've never watched it, so they would... I mean, although I quite like the Children of the Forest one, to be fair. I, I would probably keep that just, like, if it were mine, just because I like the style of it, but... Favourite pop that you pulled? Um, I can't pick between the two, but it's gonna be between Female Psycho and Matagot, I'd say. Like, I adore Borderlands, don't get me wrong. Borderlands 2 was the first game I ever pre-ordered. Borderlands 3, I, I sunk well over 100 hours into it. I adore it. Um, mm. And Matagot is just, I'm a goth through and through, so... <laughs> Emo kid yeah. turned goth. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. It, I, it wasn't a phase, it was a transition. Exactly. <laughs> it was like, one was the pre-evolved Pokemon, and yeah. you're... 
<laughs> you turn from ghastly into Gengar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is that the right way? Is it Ga- ghastly horn to Gengar? Yeah, something like that. Yeah. I think my favourite one's got to be got to be Batman. I mean, the Joker one's really cool, and I, I don't mind about the value being low at all. That looks really nice, but in terms of aesthetic... I mean, this looks almost like the um, the Superman statue from the Justice League film or the um, the Batman vs Superman film, where it yeah. said like "No more gods." Yeah, yeah. So that's got a really cool aesthetic to it. It's and good because it's Batman, which is better than Superman. It's a double sticker as well. It's got the the special edition sticker yeah. and the Batman eight year sticker. Yeah. That's going to go up in value. Um, yeah, really happy with that. Yeah, no, very happy. Well, guys, as always, thank you so so much for watching. Uh, Danny, would you like to remind the good people where they can find you? Yeah, so on YouTube, it's DJ Casey Productions. Um, I try to put videos up. That's as much of a promise as I'm going to make. And <laughs> on Twitch, it's uh, DJ Glitch underscore between the two words and a one instead of the I. And as always, guys, thank you so, so much for watching. If you want to see more of my content, please hit that, uh, hit that notification bell, like, share, subscribe, and of course, comment below if you've got any suggestions for things you'd like me to do. If you'd like to see Danny in more videos as well, uh, I, I, I live with soul. him. <laughs> I, I live with him. He's, he's yeah. there. So, you know, that is an option and something we both enjoy doing. And uh, we've been talking about maybe doing a podcast style video as well. So watch this space. That might be coming in the next kind of couple of weeks. Who knows? But until next time, thank you so, so much for watching. Love you. Bye.